Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it is time to do the end of the year book tag which is a tag that I have done before. I think I did it for the first time last year but it was originally created by Ariel Bassett and the idea is that you film this video around September or October and talk about your reading plans for the end of the year. So there's a bunch of questions <laughs> that I'm going to be answering in this video and yeah we're going to talk about some books that I am hoping to read before the end of 2023. I will leave all the questions in the description as well as the original video just in case you would like to check them out but question number one is are there any books that you started this year that you still need to finish? The short answer to this is no. <laughs> Apart from the book that I'm currently reading which actually matches my outfit today it's They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. I have about 100 pages left of this so by the time this video goes live I'll probably have finished <laughs> this book but otherwise I don't have any books that I've started this year that I still need to finish so I'm gonna put a twist <laughs> on this question and talk about a reading vlog that I've started this year that I still need to finish. So I've been doing a lot of longer vlog projects this year and there's a video that I started, I think it was last month, that I'm gonna run until around November or December and that is reading every book that's been chosen as a Waterstones book of the year in 2023. So I did a similar video last year and really enjoyed filming it. It introduced me to a lot of books that I wouldn't have read otherwise so I'm doing it again <laughs> this year. I have read quite a few of the books already. The most recent book that I read for that vlog was Trespasses by Louise Kennedy and I really liked it. I think the next book that I need to read is Memphis by Tara Stringfellow. I'll put a picture on the screen <laughs> so you can see but that is the next book that I'm going to be picking up for that vlog and I'm really excited for this vlog again because I really enjoyed filming the similar vlog last year. Next question is do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year. So I'm not usually much of a seasonal reader, however I have got so many books on my October TBR that I think are gonna give me autumnal vibes. The first is, let me just grab it, Inkblood Sister Scribe by Emma Tors, which first of all is orange and I always feel like orange is a very autumnal colour. <laughs> I also have a study in Drowning by Ava Reed, which I want to get to. These are both dark academia books and I feel like dark academia is a good subgenre to read around October or September or any time in the autumn. <laughs> so I'm hoping to read these soon. I also recently bought You Again by Kate Goldbeck, I think is the author, and I'll put a picture on the screen, but this book to me screams autumnal romance. I think it's an enemies to friends to lovers and it's inspired by When Harry Met Sally. I think the two main characters when they first meet hate each other because they find out that they're dating the same woman but then years later they reconnect and actually become friends so I'm really hoping I can get around to this again in October. <laughs> I do also have a recommendation for anyone who's looking for a newish dark academia book that I don't think has had much hype yet on booktube. I've seen a few people reading it but the people that I've seen reading it are people that have read another book by this author so were possibly anticipating it like me but the book is Blood Over Brighthaven by M.L. Wong. This is a fantasy dark academia. It's also a standalone. It's set in this utopian city which is powered by magic and we're following a main character called Sayona who is trying to become the first 
female member of the high magistracy. There's a lot to do with academia in this. It has a university setting and I really enjoyed this one. I thought the world building in particular was done really well. If you haven't yet read Legends and Lattes then I would also recommend this as the perfect autumnal read. I'm fairly sure I recommended this in my end of the year book tag from last year but this is about a retired orc warrior. Is she an orc? Yeah, she is an orc. I don't know why I question that. <laughs> but our main character, Viv, decides to give up being a warrior and she opens a coffee shop in a city that has never heard of coffee and it's just delightful. Cozy fantasy with low stakes. It is my perfect book. I'm so excited for the prequel, which I'm actually going to talk about in another question. <laughs> Moving on to question number number three, is there a new release that you're still waiting for? And as I started to talk about <laughs> under the last question, I am so excited for Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry, which is the prequel to Legends and Lattes. We're still following our main character Viv, but many years before the events of Legends and Lattes, so she's still a orc warrior, but she takes a vacation and ends up helping out in a bookshop, I believe. Iris Kelly Doesn't Date by Ashley Herring Blake also comes out at the end of October. I think Bookshops and Bone Dust comes out in November, but Iris Kelly Doesn't Date is the third and final book in the Bright Falls series, and I gave the first two books five stars, so I am obviously anticipating book three. I really liked Iris as a character in the first two books, and I'm glad we're now getting her story. I'm actually hoping to read this very soon. Those are the two main books that I am anticipating, but I also have a whole video that I did over the summer, which has all of my anticipated releases for the second half of the year. So I'll try and remember to leave that linked in the cards and in the description, just in case you would like to hear some more books that I am excited for in the second half of the year. Some of them have probably come out already, but I don't think I've read many of them yet so I'll leave that video linked just in case you haven't seen it yet. Next question is what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year? So other than the books that I've already mentioned I would really like to finish the Twisted series by Anna Huang. I only have Twisted Lies left to read and I don't know if I've heard the best reviews for this but I feel like the best reviews that I've heard for the books in the series are for the second book and that has been my favourite so far but just from the characters that I know this one follows I think I am gonna like this one. I think it has fake dating and the main character works as a content creator and I think she also has some kind of job working in fashion. I would also really like to read The Bone Shard War by Andrea Stewart which is the third and final book in the Drowning Empire series. I read at the first two books last year. It might have even been the year before that I read The Bone Shard Daughter, which is the first book in the trilogy. And yeah, it would be nice to finish out this series before the end of the year, but I've been waiting for it to come down in price because I read the first two books on my Kindle and I don't want to buy a physical copy of the third book. It's only available in hardback at the moment and the ebook is way more money than I want to spend <laughs> on an ebook. So I'm hoping once the paperback comes out, then the ebook should come down in price. But yeah, I would like to read this before the end of the year. I was thinking about rereading the first two books beforehand, but I don't think I care enough <laughs> to reread them. So I think I'm going to look up a summary instead. And then yeah, hopefully finish another series before the end of 2023. This is completely unrealistic, but I would also like to possibly read A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. So this is a prequel to Priory of the Orange Tree, which I really enjoyed. I read it 
in June, I think it was, and I loved the world in Priory of the Orange Tree. I didn't like the pacing, and I thought the ending let it down, but I know that this is set in the same world, but like a few thousand years before Prior of the Orange Tree. So I would really like to get to it because I think it has potential to be five stars. If I don't get to it this year, then I will definitely be prioritizing it for next year. I do have the audiobook for this as well because when I read Priory, I listened to the audiobook as I read physically and I wanna do the same for this because I think it's the best way to keep me focused and not take forever to finish it because this is one of the longest books that I have on my TBR. Next question is, do you think there's a book that could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? Iris Kelly doesn't date and also Bookshops and Bone Dust could both become a favourite of the year because like I mentioned, I did love other books by those authors. I have also been thinking about reading Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros before the end of the year and this book has been everywhere in 2023 so that also has the potential to be a favourite of the year. I know the sequel comes out as well next month or the month after. Iron Flame also comes out before the end of the year so my plan was to read them back to back but uh, I have so many books that I need to read <laughs> before the end of the year and I don't know whether I would benefit from waiting until after reviews for the sequel <laughs> come out because if the reviews for the sequel aren't as positive then it might help me set my expectations better. I don't know if that made sense but yeah. I would also like to read Fourth Wing <laughs> by the end of the year and and that I think also has potential to be a favourite because all of the comparisons that I've seen are to books that I gave five stars. So I think there's a good possibility that I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna agree <laughs> with the hype. The final question is, have you already started making reading plans for next year? And the short answer to this is, Yes, <laughs> I've already started making plans for the content I want to film next year, so I've started planning out what books I need to read to make the content. <laughs> I also have started putting together a list of my most anticipated new releases for 2024, and there's quite a few books that are on my radar. The one that springs to mind is Lee Bardugo has a new standalone fantasy coming out next year, and it's really Really interesting because I went to an event with Lee Bardugo back in January and she talked about how she was writing this fantasy that was set in Spain and it was going to be historical and then she announced <laughs> this book a few weeks ago and yeah it just felt really fun because I already kind of knew that it was coming. Anyway <laughs> I'm really excited for that book. It's called The Familiar. I will once again put the photo on the screen but I am hoping to like this. I enjoyed most of the Grisha verse by Lee Bardugo and I really liked Ninth House but I didn't like the sequel Hellben so she's become a very hit or miss author <laughs> for me but I'm hoping I'm gonna really like this. I do tend to like historical fantasy especially historical fantasy that's set during time periods or in places that I don't read about as often. St. Gibson also has I think two books coming out next year. One of them is called An Education in Malice which is is a dark academia story from what I remember. I really enjoyed A Diary of Blood by S.T. Gibson. I think that was one of my favourite books of last year, so I'm really anticipating this one as well. I will do a full video with all of my anticipated releases for 2024 once it gets to December, but yeah, I think that's all the questions, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Let me know in the comments, are there any books that you're excited about, either to read at the end of this year or early next year. Let me know what books are high on your TBR because I am starting to feel a little bit stressed <laughs> at how much I want to read before the end of the year. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye!